Ukraine's defense forces assume that the Russian army, with the support of North Korean troops, will launch an offensive in the Kursk region within the next few days. The New York Times reports this with reference to the words of the deputy commander of Ukraine's 61st Mechanized Brigade, Lieutenant Colonel Artem Kolodkevich. According to the publication, Kolodkevich, who fought in the Kursk sector, said that his commanders had warned him that an assault might be imminent. We were warned of an attack in the near future, probably in the coming days, the Ukrainian lieutenant colonel said. At the same time, as the publication writes, Russia has deployed about 50,000 troops in the Kursk region, while Ukraine has about 30,000 soldiers. According to experts, an additional 10,000 North Korean troops could allow Russia to gain the upper hand over Ukrainian forces. What usefulness North Korean troops will bring to the battlefield remains to be seen, experts say. Viktor Kevliuk of the Center for Defense Strategies says coordinating their actions with Russian troops will be difficult because they do not speak the same language, have different training and are unfamiliar with the terrain where they will be fighting. Former German ambassador to Washington Wolfgang Ischinger agrees with this opinion, emphasizing that this could become a huge headache for the Russian army, which is not accustomed to having large foreign units under its command. Thus, Viktor Kevliuk from the Center for Defense Strategies believes that North Korean troops will be used in attacks on Ukrainian positions in accordance with Russia's long-standing strategy to realize numerical superiority in personnel with artillery support. North Korean units will storm the most fortified positions of the Ukrainian and Russian regular troops will strengthen the captured objects and lines. At the same time, former British military attaché in Moscow and Kiev, John Foreman, believes that the North Koreans will remain on the defensive and strengthen the front line, leaving some Russian soldiers free for offensive operations. If they are used for direct attacks, he added, the reliability of North Korean forces will be questioned by the Russians and their use could endanger Russian forces. The Ukrainian army has also issued a Ukrainian-Korean phrasebook for its troops to reach out to North Korean soldiers and urge them to surrender, according to a Ukrainian officer who spoke anonymously. Russian President Vladimir Putin is trying to create the illusion of control over the events in the Kursk region. To do this, he exaggerates the successes of Russian troops in this region and sometimes even openly lies. In particular, in an interview with the Russian propagandists on October the 25th, Putin again stated that 2,000 Ukrainian soldiers in the Kursk region were allegedly surrounded by Russians. This was noted by the American Institute for the Study of War, ISW. Talking to propagandists of the state Russian TV channel Russia One, the dictator again repeated the thesis voiced on October the 24th at the closing of the BRICS summit about the alleged encirclement of 2,000 Ukrainian soldiers in the Kursk region. This time, he embellished the statement with the assertion that the encircled Ukrainian soldiers do not even understand that they are surrounded. Putin also added that the connection between the encircled units and the main Ukrainian forces had allegedly been lost and stated that the Russian Defense Ministry had not publicly reported the successful capture of some Ukrainian positions in the Kursk region by Russian troops. Putin again did not admit that the Ukrainian salient in the Kursk region extends from the Ukrainian-Russian international border and that Ukrainian troops can freely pass through sections of the border controlled by Ukraine. The ISW added, at the same time after Putin's first statement about the encirclement of Ukrainian soldiers and the fact that they allegedly suffered significant losses, the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Sirsky, made a public refutation of the Russian dictator's words. Sirsky also announced the losses that Putin's army had suffered in the Kursk region since the beginning of the Ukrainian operation. During this time, Russia has lost 17,819 of its servicemen, 711 of whom were captured by the defense forces. Putin's exaggerated statistics on Ukrainian casualties are likely part of his attempts to explain Russia's failure to decisively repel the Ukrainian invasion of the Kursk region after almost three months in the context of the likely imminent deployment of North Korean troops to fight in the area, the ISW concluded.
Successive Israeli airstrikes have pummeled the southern port city of Tyre in Lebanon following an evacuation warning from the Israeli military for parts of the city, Lebanon's state-run national news agency reported. Associated press footage showed thick plumes of smoke rising against the Mediterranean skyline. Local media also showed images of fires and widespread destruction to residential buildings. No casualties have been reported immediately. Following an Israeli evacuation warning, Lebanese civil defense teams patrolled the city with loudspeakers, urging residents to leave the area immediately.